and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review of the iconic box box that I received from Influencer. So if you want to see all the products in here and hear my thoughts on them, then keep watching. I was so excited to receive this box box from Influencer. One, because I didn't know I was getting it. Influencer has been doing this really cute thing where they don't tell you, they don't give you like a heads up like they used to. And you kind of just come home one day and there's a box waiting for you. And then you get an email saying like, you're in. So that's pretty cool. And two, there were a lot of cool brands in here that I've never tried before. So that was also pretty fun. I got all these things for free from Influencer to try out and give you guys my honest review. I didn't pay for anything. They're not paying me. Influencer and all these brands have absolutely no idea who I am. So this is what the box looks like. It's just pink and says Influencer and then there's just like random stuff on the side. There's compacts, there's fork, spoon, plate, toothbrush, a pair. There's just a bunch of random stuff. I don't know why they didn't make like a custom box for this, but it's whatever. So then you open it up and then this is everything inside. Obviously when I received it, it was nicer, but because I'm me, I just shoved everything in here. So first you always, always, always get a card from uh, Influencer and it just says iconic box box on the front. And then on the back is all the info of all the products so I'm just gonna put this to the side so I'm just going to go in order of the card to make my life a little easier and first we're going to start out with what I got from Velour Lashes which this was exciting so I got the lashes in the style would I lie and these are from their effortless no trim line that I guess they have now I'm wearing them right now and then we also got their lash adhesive the lashes are an ultra natural lash with flared crisscross design our most easygoing lash made for everyday wear no measure or trim needed just glue and glow and they retail for $26 and the lash adhesive is a white latex free adhesive that dries clear for a natural finish made specially for gentle removal with a brush on applicator for precise application and the glue is $12. So I really like the lashes. They are pretty easy to apply once you do get the hang of it. I'm still a newbie with putting on lashes. So I'm still, you know, trying to get the hang of it and still have a hard time here and there. But other than that, they're pretty easy to apply. They're pretty comfortable. It's a little weird getting the hang of it. I don't know. I just, I feel like they're there. I don't know if it's because my eyes are just sensitive or what, but I like them. I do like that they're a little natural looking and I feel confident and comfortable in them. So I would definitely recommend the lashes and the lash glue. Oh my God. It's amazing. I love the brush applicator. It's so good. And I don't know what it means by white because this is clearly blue. So I don't really understand why it's blue and white, but the brush, it's like pockets. It's like something you never knew you needed. It's so good. The next thing that was in this box box is this Patchology Flash Patch Wink and a Kiss 5 Minute Hydro Gels. There are two Flash Patch Hydrating Lip Gels and two pairs of Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels in this little kit thing. And this retails for $10. The Smooper Smooth Talker is like the lip patches and they are kiss dry lips goodbye, quickly moisturize and soften your pout. You're left with perfectly prepped lips ready to make up and mouth off. I liked this. It, they were kind of weird on the lips because I felt like it kept falling off. They were way too big for my <laughs> mouth. I don't know who has lips that big. They were like up to here. Um, I didn't really feel like they did that much to be completely honest with you. I did notice though the next day that my the skin on my lips like the dry skin was peeling off like crazy. I don't really know if that was supposed to happen but that's what happened. So along with the lip gels we had the anytime perk me up which were the under eye patches and they help puffiness fatigue dryness enter the fast fix for tired eyes featuring caffeine and hydrolyzed collagen look like you got your full eight hours every day. Um, they definitely helped with my dryness under my eyes, and that's really it. I didn't love them, didn't hate them. Would I repurchase this? Probably not. Um, like I said, I didn't love it and I didn't hate it. It wasn't the best thing in the world, you know? 
Next up, we have this fragrance from Hope Fragrances, and this is the Hope Perfume. And this retails for $115. And that's 1.7 ounces, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. And Hope is the uplifting fragrance, and it is on a humanitarian quest. For the sale of each Hope product, 100% of the net profit is donated to depression research, which is very nice. The scent itself is a magnificent fusion of the most aromic white flowers, including Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Gardenia, and Tuberose the most pure and delicate essences that delight our senses. A secret ingredient adds a lively layer of crisp freshness. Um, I'm really picky with smells. This was a little too overpowering for me. It's very floral. I don't love over floral scents. So it was just, it kind of smells like an old lady and I'm just not really a fan of it. I only wore it once and I felt like it lingered like all day and it kind of gave me a headache like a Juicy Couture perfume does and I'm just not the biggest fan. Next up we have products from Ghost Smile. I was really excited to receive the Ghost Smile stuff because I've been wanting to whiten my teeth for a really long time. My teeth have always just been really yellow and I don't really drink a lot of soda. I drink it maybe once a month and then coffee I drink once a week so everything else I drink is pretty much water and my teeth are just permanent, permanently yellow, which is a bummer. And I honestly don't really see a difference using any of these products. I wish I had like a before or after, like a great story to tell you, but I really don't. And the first thing is this Go Smile Teeth Whitening Gel. This retails for $8 at 0.5 ounces, which is this exact one. The whitening gel is clinically proven teeth whitener designed to give you a whiter smile after two days of use and dramatic results up to seven shades whiter after a month. I've been using this for like two, almost three weeks, twice a day. Barely see a difference. Haven't seen a difference. Then we have their luxury mint toothpaste, which retails for $4 at one ounce, which is exactly this. You can enjoy a just polished feel that you get from a professional cleaning and the aromatherapy experience you expect in the spa. It includes vitamin A, C, and E. Um, <clears throat> the one thing I really liked about the toothpaste is that it tasted like a candy cane, but that's about it. I just don't really see a difference with these two things at all, but I'm going to keep using them and hopefully see a difference sometime soon because right now, I haven't been seeing much of a difference at all. And then the stain eraser, which is $2.50, and this is just a sample. The stain eraser, which I saved what it looks like so you guys can just get like a gist, but basically you take it out of this green little sleeve and you were supposed to pop this plastic and you can probably see that it's like shattered on the inside and it went up to here where it's like a cotton and oh my god, it skeeved me out. I hate rubbing cotton against my teeth. Like I hate it at the dentist. I just, oh, this didn't do anything either. Long story short, my teeth were still white and it tasted like menthol, which made me want to vomit. So these things I'm still up in the air about. Right now, I don't love them. The next thing that I have in the box is this Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. And this is probably my favorite thing that I got in the box. This retails for $27, which is pretty pricey, but your face feels amazing after you use it i feel like it just gets everything out of you like it just sucks up everything it's like a vacuum for your face this is nature's magnet made with only the good stuff sustainable bamboo charcoal acts like a ma natural magnet to draw out dirt debris and impurities skin looks clear feels perfectly pure no wonder why it's the number one mask in north america and it is so good if you have not tried this out i highly recommend it it's phenomenal. And the last thing I got in the Vox box is this St. Moritz Professional Wash Off Tan in Medium and this retails for $12.99 and that's for five ounces so it's probably just like a bigger tube. This obviously was just a sample. And on the card here it says calling all self tan lovers. St. Moritz Professional Instant Wash Off Self Tan offers a matte streak free transfer resistant natural looking tan which washes off at the end of the day. Part of our award-winning range, our wash off gives you an instant sun-kissed glow. It's no wonder that St. Moritz Professional is number one selling self-tan in the UK. Enjoy our lifestyle-driven range.
range to get instant, flawless, natural, long-lasting, professional results. So this is just one use because you're going to want to do your arms and your legs, obviously. I also try to do like my chest and my back, which I don't know how people do their back. If you can tan your back with stuff like this, then good for you because I don't know how you do it because I couldn't. I was like a spaz. <laughs> um, and I also tried to get like, I have a permanent bikini line tan line on me <laughs> it's like you can literally see like on my hip like where a bikini would be and I wanted to tan there but that just didn't cover it but on my legs this looked really really nice and on my arms it did too I do shower at night so I was a little worried about it transferring on blankets or anything overnight but it didn't and I think that's because I did pat it off um before it started setting into my skin like I said with a rag or a dark towel and it did wash off completely the next day. Again, I used a dark towel rag thing when I took a shower to dry off because I wasn't sure if there was going to be any leftover on me. So I suggest doing that if you try this out. The one downside was, though, I have dry skin, like, right here by my thumb and these weird bumps on my arm. And... The tan really stuck to those and like any little dry patch it just looked kind of gross and not too cute but other than that like it looked really nice on the rest of my body and that is it for this box box review I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel follow me on all my social media that will always be linked down below in the description box as well if you guys have any video suggestions on any videos you want to see in the near future, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you just want to leave a comment saying, hey, please do that too. And that is all I have to say, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!